Welcome to my first ever tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a daisy or flower granny square. You're gonna need yarn, a crochet hook, darning needle, and scissors. I use size four yarn with a five millimeter hook. So to start out, we're going to be making a magic circle. And the way you do this is you just drag the yarn over your hand like so, uh, and then you put the long end across like this, and then you go under and pick up the other one there, and then you're going to just chain one to secure it. And it should look like this. Next up, we're going to be working seven single crochets into the circle. Um, some people like to do eight, but I prefer doing seven. Uh, I'll show you why later. So you go in, yarn over, pull through two, go in, yarn over, pull through two, regular single crochets. All right, and now that you can count seven stitches, what you're gonna do is pull on the short string, and that is going to tighten up the circle. And then you're gonna find the first stitch, which is this little guy right here. So you're gonna go in with your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through again and that is a slip stitch. Um, so you're slip stitching to join, and then from there you're going to fasten off, or if you're just doing one color for the flower, you're gonna keep going with the same color. Um, but I'm using the yellow as the little center, so I'm going to fasten that color off and chop it. Make sure to leave a little bit of a tail end so that you can weave in the ends. All right, and now that that's done, we are going to switch to our petal color. Um, so the basics of this is it's eight double crochet together uh, clusters of three double crochet togethers in each stitch. Um, I like to do, as I said, seven instead of eight because I use that slip stitch as two stitches um, because I feel like that way the circle in the middle becomes more uniform and it looks better but it's up to you if you want to do eight single crochets in that starter circle. So we're going to tie on onto any of the stitches here. Um, I like to tie twice because I really don't want anything to come undone. So you're gonna go in, you're gonna yarn over, uh, you're gonna bring it out, and then what you're gonna do is chain three. And this counts as our first little double crochet piece. Um, and then you're gonna yarn over, go back into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and you should have three stitches on your hook, and then you're gonna yarn over again, you're gonna pull through two of them only, yarn over again, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then you'll have four stitches on your hook. You're gonna yarn over, pull through only two, then you're gonna have three stitches on your hook, you're gonna yarn over and pull through all three stitches, and then chain two. And that's our first cluster. Um, from now on, all the other clusters will be the same, and they're all gonna have these three little double crochets in each petal. Now for the rest of the clusters, we're gonna yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. You should have two stitches on your hook, yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, you should have three stitches on your hook now, but only two little clusters, so we do one more by yarning over, going to the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then you have four stitches on your hook and three little clusters. So you're gonna yarn over and pull through all four stitches and chain two. All right, and now we are just gonna do that six more times until we have eight little petals. And once we get to the end um, and we chain our last two, we are gonna pull on the short string to tighten the little middle circle. And we're going to slip stitch into that first top stitch on the first petal that we did. So that's in. Yarn over, pull through, and then pull through again. And then we're gonna yarn over, 
just to fasten it off, cut it and pull. And there you have it. That is your little flower. It looks super round right now, but once we put in the border, you're gonna see the petals start to really form. Okay, now to start on the border, we're going to find one of those spaces that you chained two into, and we're gonna pull our new color out, and we're gonna tie it on to that chain two space to attach it. All right, and now we are going to do the color chains like we did before. We're gonna chain three, which acts as our first double crochet into that chain two space. Then we're gonna go in with two more double crochets. So it's gonna be three double crochets there, one of the chain three acting as the first one. And then uh, we're gonna do everything into these chain two spaces. So we're gonna chain one, and then we're going to do three more double crochets into the next chain two space. But this one is gonna be a little different because this is our corner. So after you've done double crocheting three, you're going to chain three, and then you're gonna go into the same space with three more double crochets. Now we're going to chain one again and you can see that a corner has formed. So then you go into the next space and you double crochet three. This is a middle part so we're just going to chain one after the three. And then the next one will be another corner. So go into the next space with three double crochets again. and then chain three, and then three more double crochets. So now you can see we have two corners, uh, and then between each corner there's one middle part that's just the three double crochets in the chain two space. So we're gonna keep doing this same technique where with a chain one in between each segment, we're gonna do three double crochets, then three, chain three, three in the same space, then chain one, three double crochets, etc., until you have a square. All right, and we'll meet back here where we will end by doing our chain one and then slip stitching into the top stitch, just like we did with the petals. So we're gonna pull that through and then you have your square and you could leave it like that or I'm just gonna do an extra one to show you how and then from there you can add as many rounds as you'd like um, to make the square as big as you'd want it. All right, so we're gonna start from having just slip stitched. We're going to chain three, then we're gonna turn it and we're going to double crochet two into the space to the left. This is one way to do it. Um, it does change the look of the square a little bit, uh, and there are multiple other ways to do it. And chain one, just like we did before, and then now you can see clearly which are corners and which aren't corners. So this space is a corner, so you're gonna do the three double crochets uh, chain three and then three more double crochets into this corner space. Okay, the other way to do it where you don't turn the work so all of the rows have the same look to the stitches is you actually slip stitch then chain four and then you go into that space to the right with two double crochets. So you're kind of overlapping that first chain with these two double crochets and then it's gonna look like that. So you're, you're doing them over so that the other one kind of pulls through to the back and then chain one 
go into the next space with three double crochets again, chain one, and then do the corner as usual. And you just carry on like that for however many rounds you want to do. All right, and to finish, you're just going to do the exact same thing as before, slip stitch into that first stitch, and you've got your square with an extra layer. So snip it off and fasten it off, and then all you have to do is weave in the ends. And there you have it. This is how I like to do my flower granny squares. Um, there's a million other ways to do it, but this is uh, the way that I prefer to. And I think they're super cute and I use them for tons of different projects. And as you can see here, you don't have to do the middle color different. You can just do the flower different in the border or just everything the same color just for a square with a little more pizzazz. Um, so I hope you like it and I definitely will be using this for a lot of tutorials to come because I love using the flower granny square in my projects. Um, please go easy on me because this is my first ever tutorial. Please leave a comment if you have any suggestions on how I can improve and happy crocheting!